Nikon Close-Up Speedlight Remote Kit R1. Enough treasures and goodies to keep you entertained and to make beautiful photographs for an awful long while. So all the paperwork as you'd expect. I guarantee your forms quite a small instruction booklet and some Nikon let's say blurb. Alright. Get some unpacking done over to the side. So here we have as yet empty cases for the flash. But a fiddly zip to go around the corners. Right, looking absolutely superb. We'll put those two to that side. And will this be for the flash unit? No, that'll be for the rings. Which we shall see as we continue with the unpacking. If it wasn't an unpacking video, it would be a case of here's one I did earlier and a wonderful explosion of everything. So, there we go and there we go. Now, more plastic. Taking to one side. Nikon SS MS1. Oh, excellent. Looking good. There's the carry strap. Here's one of the clip booms. Same clip. Both sides. We lift up the insert panel here. Almost every attachment available to Nikon. One ring after another. I won't make any comment about one ring to rule them all because you need all the rings not just any one ring. A whole collection of one, two, three, four, five rings there. Ah, there's the kit to hold on to the front of the lens for macro lighting. Here we have Colored gels. Beautiful little Nikon case. SJR 200. Blue, red, TNA1 and FLG1. Oh. And the evaluation reading is on those to give you an idea of what they'll take the light down to. This is one of the things that we were waiting for. Looking fresh out of Star Wars. It's the wireless remote speed light, SBR200. Four channels, three groups, ABC, channels one to four. Modeling light on and off. Attachment there to fit to the lens mount once on the front of your macro lens and or not macro. Or fit at any distance you wish within the wireless range. Here's one of the stands for the macro light. Here's one of the brackets with diffuser to fit over the macro light. Another lens to fit over the light. And this feature to fit onto the front of the camera, any camera that already has a flash, to knock out that flash, but you're using that part of the camera 
the electronics inside to wirelessly remote trigger your flashes. Without an onboard flash gun, you need a different wireless kit with a commander to fire the wireless. Or you can use an existing flash gun as long as it has wireless capabilities. That's something of everything that's in there. Just repeats of various different lens adapter rings. And I've shown you one of everything, whereas a few things, of course, there are a pair, including two lights. The Nikon Close Up Speed Light Remote Kit. Supplied accessories include attachment rings 52mm, 62mm, 72mm, I missed 67mm, uh, 77mm. The extreme close up positioning adapter, the colour filter holder, the colour filters, the speed light stand. Uh, the IR panel for the built-in flash, the flexible arm clip, the diffuser, and the case. And as we've seen, it's a heck of a collection to offer so many photographic opportunities. This has not been a Whistle Stop production for Weird Web Wonders.